Simpson. What a character he was. Wonder what ever became of him. Oh. I imagine he's dead like all the rest. Ah, those were the days. Mr. Tuttle, your hair. Yes? Good morning, ma'am. We've come about the... Oh, yes, of course. Come in. I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm Bertha Mills, ma'am, and this is Edmund Tuttle. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. You must be the gardener. Ah, oh, that's right, the gardener. And uh, this young lady is called Lydia. Have you had much experience in service? Oh, don't let that angel face fool you, ma'am. She's older than she looks. Can you iron? What's the matter? Has the cat got your tongue? Uh, she can't talk, ma'am. Poor little mites are mute. Oh, but she's a good little worker. I can promise you that. All right. All right. The other girl I had spoke too much anyway. Follow me. Mrs. Mills, you and the girl, you will sleep in the attic room at the top of the stairs. And uh, you, Mr... Tuttle, ma'am. Uh, Tuttle. Uh, you could sleep in the shed around the back. As you can see, the housework has been rather neglected since the servants disappeared almost a week ago. You mean they just vanished? Into the air. No notice, nothing. They didn't even collect their wages. They, they just left us. What a strange thing to do. You'll soon find out there are times when this house is not exactly an ideal home. Hence my advertisement in the newspaper requesting honest, hard-working people. Well, there's nobody more honest or hard-working than us. Isn't that right, Mr. Tuttle? Oh, aye, we're very honest. And, um... Very hard working. The kitchen. I have breakfast at eight. The children at nine. Lunch will be served at one and dinner at half past seven. And the master, ma'am. The master went off to war a year and a half ago. I've had no news since the war ended. Which of you does the cooking? I'm so sorry, ma'am. Which of you does the cooking? Have you all noticed what I'm doing? In this house, no door must be opened without the previous one being closed first. It is vital that you remember this. It's not as easy as it may seem. There are 15 different keys for all of the 50 doors, depending on which area of the house you're in at the time. Mrs. Mills, from tomorrow onwards, I will be leaving a set of keys in your charge. Yes, ma'am. The music room. That old piano was already here when we moved in. Please do not let the children thumb away on it. It sets off my migraine. Silence is something that we prize very highly in this house. That is why you will not find a telephone, a radio, or anything else that makes a racket. Oh, uh, we don't have electricity either. During the war, the Germans kept cutting it off, so we just learned to live without it. Let's continue. Ma'am, there's really no need to show us around the whole house. Yes. Maybe. Yes, there is. Because here, most of the time, you can hardly see your way. It's often difficult to make out if there is a table, a chair, a door, a sideboard. Or one of my children playing hide and seek. What do you mean, ma'am? Perhaps I should introduce you to the children. Mr. Tuttle, you can see to the garden now. You'll find tools in the shed. Yes, ma'am. You two could start closing the curtain. All of
Whatever you do, don't open the curtains. Wakey, wakey. Mm. Now, come on. Eyes closed, hands together. Blessed be the light of day, Jesus, to whom now I may pray. Blessed be the virgin pure, who my grateful face will show. Jesus, Mary, spotless rose, keep us till this day of close. Sweet little children. Well, what do you say? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do, children? My name is Mrs. Mills, but you can call me Bertha if you like. What are your names? Anne, Nicholas. Anne and Nicholas. What pretty names. Are you going to be our new nanny? Yes, my dears. I'm your new nanny. It's time for their breakfast. Lydia, go to the kitchen and close every shutter. The doctors were never able to find a cure. For what? Their condition. The children have a very serious allergy to light. They are photosensitive and they must never be exposed to any light much stronger than this. Otherwise, in a matter of minutes, they would break out in sores and blisters and, and begin to suffocate. It would eventually be fatal. Good heavens. I don't like this toast. Oh, why not? It tastes funny. I liked it better before. Well, that's because before somebody else made it. When are they coming back? You're not coming back, child. Just like Daddy. Daddy is coming back, though. Mrs. Mills, our father's fighting in a war in France, you know. It's the World War. I know, but he's in France. That's enough chatterboxes. Finish up your breakfasts. Are you going to leave us, too? Of course not. Why should I leave you? The others said they wouldn't, but they did. And then it happened. Be quiet. What do you mean, Anne? What happened? Mummy went mad. Nothing happened. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Be quiet. 